The family of the man killed in a dog attack say they're heartbroken at losing an easygoing man who made a point of helping other people. Clifford Clark was in his garden in Liverpool when he was mauled on Saturday evening. Two women arrested on suspicion of manslaughter have now been released on bail. Nick Martin reports. Cliff Clark was a quiet man who, according to his family, enjoyed the simple things in life. He was enjoying the sunshine on Saturday evening in his back garden when a dog broke through the fence and attacked him. He died shortly afterwards. Today, his younger brother, Kenny Clark, paid this tribute to him. Cliff was a very easy-going man. He did his own thing and made a point about helping others. He loved his local pub, the Farmer's Arms, and had many old friends of his there who will miss him dearly. He did not deserve this, so please put your support behind new laws for dog owners because you would not like any of your loved ones to have this happen to them. Our family are heartbroken. All day, neighbours have brought flowers. He was a familiar face around town, and the taxi drivers outside the supermarket remembered him well. He just chat away to you. Always well dressed, and every Christmas he used to come into the pub well, when the cabbies were there and have a drink with them and everything. Um, he was an, he was well liked, the man. One of the dogs was shot dead at the scene described by police as being out of control. A missing fence panel at the back of the garden, separating Mr. Clark's property from next door, just one of several ways the animal could have got in. A vet is now examining the remains to determine whether it is one of the illegal breeds in the Dangerous Dogs Act. The two women who were arrested here on Saturday evening, a 27-year-old and a 28-year-old, were questioned by police and then re-arrested on suspicion of manslaughter. Merseyside police have since released the pair on conditional bail. The flowers here pay tribute to a gentle, harmless man. The community here say they're feeling his loss. Nick Martin, Sky News, in Liverpool.